Welcome to Cocktail Limelight, everyone. I'm Eric Castro, the host of the Bartender Large Podcast. And today, we're gonna to be making three versions of the old-fashioned. The original, and then a couple of riffs to please your palate while also impressing those bozos that you call friends. First, we're gonna make the OG version, except stripped down without the fruit salad consisting of muddled oranges and cherries. But before we make it, you might be surprised to learn that the Old Fashioned was originally a morning drink. Because in early colonial life, everyone traditionally drank beer and cider in the evenings, and since bitters were seen as a form of medicine, adding them to your morning drink was meant to help you get back on the horse after a night of having too much fun. So the next time that your friends give you grief for drinking a bourbon Old Fashioned at brunch, just remind them that you're being historically consistent. Another cool bit of trivia is that the name cocktail wasn't originally a blanket term for all mixed drinks, but was instead defined by a drink specifically consisting of only spirit, sugar, bitters, and water. Nowadays, we would generally get that touch of water by stirring the cocktail, but back then the water was just usually added at room temp. So thank God for the invention of modern refrigeration because we have since learned that the drink is that much better when it's served nice and cold. Now you might notice that the choice of spirit in that definition was not specified, which meant that the choice of booze was totally up to you. So naturally, if you wanted one with whiskey, it would have been dubbed a whiskey cocktail. But then over the years, as the word cocktail began to encompass all mixed drinks, guests started to ask for the original by ordering a whiskey cocktail the old-fashioned way, thus dubbing it the old-fashioned whiskey cocktail. Eventually, the whiskey cocktail portion of the name just fell away over time, and it became no more simply as the old-fashioned. So don't act like you didn't learn anything today. Now the reason that I love the Old Fashioned so much is that it's open to endless reinvention, all based on how you feel at any given time. You can make it with anything from rum to tequila to brandy, while even switching up the sugar to honey or maple, but it's still always an Old Fashioned. And don't even get me started on switching up the bitters because once you do that, the variety of Old Fashions is limitless. However, before we get ahead of ourselves, we're going to be starting with the basics. So now let's hop into our first drink, the Old Fashioned Whiskey Cocktail. First, we're gonna add two to three dash of Angostura bitters. Next, we're gonna be doing one teaspoon of simple syrup. Now, don't get turned off by the fact that I used a baking measurement because a teaspoon is actually just a sixth of an ounce. You will also notice that I didn't say a bar spoon. And that's because a bar spoon is not a valid form of measurement as they are not standardized and all brands come in different sizes. End of rant. You might also notice that we aren't using a sugar cube, but instead using simple syrup. We're doing this to give the drink a smoother and more refined texture, but never fear as a sugar cube will still definitely work in a pinch, so you do you, boo. As for our simple syrup, we're just adding one part warm water to one part sugar, and then stirring and allowing it to cool. We prefer using unprocessed cane sugar if possible, as we think it provides a more natural flavor that complements the final drink, but that's totally up to you. Next, we're going to pour in two ounces of bourbon, now I'm gonna tell you this and it's important. Don't feel like you have to spend a whole bunch of money on some crazy expensive bourbon here. As long as you stick to a quality brand around the 18 to $30 mark, you will most certainly end up with the killer old fashioned. Next, we are going to stir that up and get the drink nice and cold while also picking up that bit of water that we mentioned earlier. This extra bit of water is what's gonna allow the drink to open up and get it ready to drink. Once we are done there, we're gonna strain that over ice and garnish it with a freshly cut lemon twist, which I'm preparing with the vegetable peeler. But before you drop the twist into the glass, be sure to express the twist over the surface of the drink to give the cocktail some pop. And there you have it, the classic old fashioned. Next, we're gonna be making a riff on that recipe called the Improved Whiskey Cocktail. Whereas the original whiskey cocktail goes back to the early 1800s and possibly even before, this bad dog right here didn't see print until the 1870s. Now, why is it improved? That has to do with the addition of absinthe and maraschino liqueur. You have to understand that at this time, America was vibrant with immigrants and booming with cultural diversity. And it seemed like every nationality to come over was bringing with them their own traditional customary ingredients, such as various liqueurs and cordials. Moral of the story, don't be a racist because at a minimum, it just might make your cocktails better. So of course, it didn't take long for inventive American bartenders to start adding these ingredients to their cocktails. Now to make this drink, first we start out with two dashes of absinthe. Then we're gonna follow that up with two to three dashes of Angostura bitters. And just like the previous drink, we are now going to add one teaspoon of simple syrup. And for an extra bit of depth and complexity, we're now going to add a quarter ounce of maraschino liqueur. For those of you that are unfamiliar with maraschino liqueur, it is a European liqueur rich with the flavors of Morosca cherry. Finally, we're gonna add in two ounces of rye whiskey. Although we do wanna mention that just like the original old fashioned, 
This drink works wonderfully with just about any spirit you can think of. Next, we're gonna stir that up while being careful not to over dilute. Remember, you're really only looking to pick up around 15 to 20% additional volume from stirring, so keep that in mind so you don't end up with the drink that's way too watered down. Now we're gonna strain it over ice and garnish with an orange twist. And there you have it, the Improved Whiskey Cocktail. Now for our last old fashioned riff, we're gonna be making an easy going and more approachable recipe called the Kentucky River. This one is loaded with notes of chocolate and fruit, so it's perfect for people who might be new to the old fashioned and looking to dip their toe into the water. To make this one, we're gonna start by adding two to three dashes of peach bitters, which are great to have on hand by the way, but if you can't find them at your local retail shop, there's several really good brands available for purchase online. Next, we're gonna add a half ounce of creme de cacao, followed by two ounces of bourbon. Now we're gonna stir this mixture up the same as the others. And just as before, we're gonna strain this over ice. Now it's time to garnish it with a big, beautiful lemon twist. That last ring concludes our video for today, but if you liked what you saw, then don't forget to muddle the like and subscribe buttons, and maybe even leave a comment if you're feeling so inclined. And if you would like to delve even deeper into the world of cocktails with us, then be sure to tune in to the award-winning Bartender at Large podcast, which I host over at iTunes, Spotify, and anywhere else that podcasts are found. Lastly, if you'd like to support the channel, then head on over to patreon.com backslash bartender at large for more info. Thank y'all for tuning in, and we look forward to having you back for drinks soon.